Today, we're talking about backing up your Squarespace site. Trust me, guys, losing all of your hard work is an actual nightmare. I've been there a few times, but if you use Squarespace, we've got you covered. Now, you might be wondering, why do I even need to back up my site? Well, there are actually a ton of reasons why you should back up your site. Squarespace has its own system to back up your whole site and data, and that's really great. So if there are any major outages on their end, they should be able to recover your site. But when it comes to editing errors, accidental deletions, or even a disastrous website update gone wrong, trust me, these things will happen if you've got a website for long enough. You need to have some backups in place. By backing up your Squarespace site, you'll always have a safety net, like a copy of your precious work to fall back on if you need it. So even if something does go wrong or that new design doesn't quite pan out the way you expected, you can easily revert to an earlier version to make it right. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you can do is create an entire copy of your site. It's a simple process that only takes a few seconds. You'll probably need this the least out of all of these backups that we're talking about today, as it's pretty rare that you'll want to revert your entire site but it's worth knowing about. And it's particularly handy if you're planning a major redesign and want to test things out. Worst case scenario, you've got your entire design duplicated. This one's super quick. Just make sure you're in your Squarespace account dashboard. So go to account.squarespace.com and this is your dashboard with all of your websites. To duplicate your website, just click on the three dots and click duplicate website and it'll take a few minutes and then you'll see the duplicate here in your dashboard. Next up is creating backups of each page. This one I actually do all of the time and when I haven't done it, I have regretted it. <laughs> I recommend making a backup of your pages anytime you're doing a page redesign or making any big changes to the site. That way, if you make any mistakes, you can easily recover that page with your backup page. On your Squarespace website, make sure you're in the pages panel. And then to duplicate an entire page, all you need to do is click on the cog icon, scroll to the bottom of the pages settings panel and click duplicate page. And this is just going to make a duplicate of the page. It'll automatically put it down here in your not linked section and it will also append a copy on the end. So I really only recommend doing this if you're actively working on your page design. So let's just say I wanted to update this what we do page, I would make a copy of it and probably make edits to the copy. And then once I was happy with the copy, I would replace the original page. So I would move this new one to the current position, delete the old one, and then just make sure I changed the URL so that the new page has the same URL as the old page. By doing that, it just means that you don't have to make changes to the live page that people are looking at, because if you make any mistakes, then people will see it live. And it's just really great because you can just have free reign. You don't have to worry too much about your design. You can experiment with it. Number one, no one's seeing it. And number two, if you're unhappy with it, you can scrap it and just duplicate the main page again. So Highly recommend if you're making any big page changes to duplicate the entire page. If you're just doing minor changes on your page, listen to the next step because I'm going to talk about backing up sections. One thing that's really important when you do duplicate pages is that you make sure that the only pages that are live are the ones you intend to be live. So when I initially made a copy of this what we do page, Squarespace automatically put it down here in the not linked section. So the not linked section section essentially just means that it's not linked anywhere in the main header or the main footer, but we can see that it is live. So essentially, just because it's not linked in the main header here doesn't mean that people couldn't accidentally stumble across it or it might show up in Google or something like that. So if you do have any rough copies or things that you don't want to show up on Google or you don't want people to land on accidentally, what you want to do is click on the cog icon, click to disable the page here and click save and you'll see that that page is grayed out now and that means it's disabled so you can still edit it and play around with it on the back end which is great but people won't be able to accidentally stumble across it so if you are backing up pages to edit the design then i highly recommend disabling them and if you want to keep things nice and organized for any pages that you've saved old designs that you want to keep just in case or pages that you're working on we recommend creating a backups folder so you would just click the plus icon and add a folder. Make sure it's in your not linked section and then you can just drag any pages into it and that's just going to keep it nice and organized. 
You can collapse it if there's lots of pages in it and it's just nice and clean. Now let's look at backing up sections. This one is a total game changer if you're working on your site design and you want to save a section before making changes to it. This one in particular is important to really get into the habit of doing. Anytime you're going to make a change to any page, duplicate the section before you edit it to give you that safety net. To back up or save sections, you want to click edit on your page. And like I said, getting into the habit of doing this anytime you make any change to a section is really important. It's going to save you so much time having to revert things or fix things up. So every single section in Squarespace 7.1, when you hover over it, there's a settings section in the top right. And this bar here has the option to duplicate and save. So let's talk about duplicating. I pretty much do this anytime I edit anything on my site. So if I pop into a page and let's say I want to update this section, I'm going to add a button and some more text to it. So just getting into that habit of before you start making the changes, hit the duplicate button, make the changes as you want to make them. Okay, so I made some changes to that section, and if I was happy with these changes and I wanted to keep them, what I would do is I would just delete or remove the duplicate I did, or if I'm not happy with them, I can easily just remove that version. So even if you're just doing minor changes, this can save you a lot of time. Before, I would have had to go through and delete all the stuff I had added or control Z back to the beginning, but instead I just deleted the whole section and we're good. The one thing to note about duplicating sections is that it's only really helpful when your page is in draft mode. So as soon as you hit save after you've duplicated a section, this is what the live site will look like. So there's currently no way to have a section as a draft. As soon as you duplicate and then click save, this is going to go live. So what you see here will go live as soon as you hit save. So just keep that in mind. Now there is a way to sort of draft sections by using the save section tool. So let's say I want to make some changes on this, but just like before, I want to back up the section in case I am not happy with my changes, but I also want to hit save a few times along the journey because I don't want to lose my work. And I know when I click save, the updates are going to be reflected on the main page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save section. And now what I can do is make any changes that I want to the section. I can even accidentally delete that section and it's not a big deal because I can click add section and go into my saved sections and pull that section out. So you can use this between pages. It's an amazing tool for when you're designing, but it's also really great for backing up your section design as you go. Last, but definitely not least, actually quite possibly the most important and definitely the one that I have regretted not doing the most, backing up your custom code. So if you use any CSS or code injections around your site, I cannot urge you enough to back these codes up somewhere else. It's really not uncommon to make one wrong move in your code and have the entire code break. And then instead of sifting through your entire code and trying to figure out where you went wrong, sometimes it's a lot easier just to revert your code back to what it was before you made the edits. The second big thing is that sometimes if you make a wrong move in the code editor, your entire code will just vanish. And then if you accidentally hit save, you have saved your entire code vanishing. And if you don't have a backup, it's gone forever. So speaking from experience, that is pretty traumatizing. And if it scares you, good, because then hopefully you'll actually back up your code from now on. So the codes I recommend you backing up most are under your design and custom CSS. If you don't have any in here, that's great. If you do, just select it all and copy it into a document or a notes app or something like that. Something that's really easy to access for you and also something that you can organize into folders and maybe put notes onto as well. And then I also recommend backing up your code injections if you have main website code injections. So I'm going to hit the slash key and go to code injection. So copy your header code injections, your footer code injections, your lock page, your order confirmation page, your order status page, copy it all. And then if you have any injections on particular pages, so there is an area in the page settings under advanced page header code injection. You might have a lot of code within your pages as well. I would recommend backing that up in the same place you're going to back up all your code. So I'll just show you quickly 
We use ClickUp for everything in business and I have this area in ClickUp where I back up our codes and you can see that I've dated them. You really only need to do this once and then when you go in to make any edits, just make sure you have a recent backup because really it's when you're editing that you're going to have any trouble like mistakes or code disappearing. So just remember that you've got those backups. I recommend putting dates on them and any labels that are necessary of what the code is and trust me on this one especially if you have a fair bit of code on your site this one is vital okay guys i hope you enjoyed that video and learned something new if you like this one make sure to check out this tutorial and subscribe because we put out new videos every week thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one